Hey, what's up guys with the How You Blast? I'm Oscar. I'm Serge. And today we are reacting to Triple S for the first time ever on this channel at least with their new song, Girls Never Die. Now it it is a good timing for this yes. because we are also planning on having Triple S to be our next group for the catch up reactions. Uh, Cause this one comes out on Monday or this, it is Monday when you guys are watching this. Yes. And then we have I think three more New Jeans videos that have not come out yet. I right. want to say it's ASAP, Cool With You slash Get Up, and oh my New god, jeans. and New Jeans, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, after those three are out, Triple S will be the new group we are focusing on. And now this is the full group. Yes. Finally, for the first time, all 24 members. I, I just say we go. I mean, yeah. But yeah, 24. That's kind of wild. This is the biggest girl group right now, correct? I think so, yeah. So young. Oh, I forgot. S14? I don't remember her real name. There's too many names to remember. Alright, have a bunch of la la la's. I'm all about it so far. That's like their signature. Mm. That's true, actually. I feel like it's at a good couple of songs. Oh my bird. From the one song I know. Fuck, oh, Shen Yu. I think that's how you say it. Yo, well, that's my room. Yeah, I was about to say. Suman. That's for real. I think that was Suman. Is it? Oh. Okay, maybe that's a poem. That is definitely not my room. Chagrins. Oh, you young. Ooh. Ooh. That's lucky. Oh, a little dance break. Interesting. It's fascinating that they decided to do a dance break instead of um, they have to rap break instead. Triple S is a group full of interesting decisions, mm. I will say. You've been. I don't remember. Ooh, a little bit of narration as well. It is pretty long. Oh, I thought, we, I thought we were gonna get one more verse. The idol of all possibilities. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. You know, I've been waiting for a while for mm -hmm. this to finally happen. Yes. So I think when I started following them, oh, I don't even, 
It was after, it was before Rising. Okay. So that was 12 members. I think I started falling around the 10 member mark. Okay. I want to wow. say, because <laughs> I wasn't into the group when the Acid Angels in Asia was a thing. I can't remember the name of that song. Oh, what is it? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I, I've been following this group for a while, and it's actually crazy to see that, A, they stuck to the plan, okay. all 24 members, and that it just finally happened in general, because mm -hmm. I don't even know how long that was, like three, two years? This is a group, I two, say. three years in the making. Whoa. Yeah, they didn't just like add like all 10 girls and be like, boom, you're in. So it, it was, was like one at a time for the most part, I want to say. Whoa, so kind of kind of similar to like a Luna situation. It is literally the exact same thing. Wow. Actually, I for the most part. Okay. Except the difference was in this one, they didn't get their own solo music videos like in Luna. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they might have because they have like... Um, Luna has the same thing where it's like the daily series that they did. But, yep, I remember and that. And then Triple S has the same thing, and that's kind of how they would introduce the members in okay. and stuff. I okay. mean, they would do like promo outside of that on social media, but like they would do it there. And I guess a couple times they would have their own like miniature songs, unless that was just Soyeon, which is the number, she was the first one. I believe it's Soyeon. There's so many names to remember. Like, yeah. I think a majority of this video was me remembering names. Yeah. Like trying to remember. I was like, mm -hmm. I know this name and I just couldn't think of a lot of person. <laughs> but I don't know. What do you think? 24 members? Uh, 24 member group. Um, definitely, definitely. I think, out of, don't quote, I, probably the biggest girl group ever to come out of K Korea? Korea, South Korea. I, I think so. I think the only other group I can think of that might be close is after school, but I don't think I don't in the active members it was that many. That many. I'm pretty sure this is the biggest, biggest girl, group. girl group. Yeah. I don't in Korea. is how many members does NCT have? Are they Ooh, I forgot about them. They're quite up there also. Do they also have around twenty four? See, I don't know because I I really I don't, we don't follow don't, NCT too closely. I don't know mm -hmm. how many members are in NCT. Mm -hmm. Like I have no idea. Um so definitely the biggest girl group. I mean I I have I often have a little bit of issues with bigger groups. Yeah. Um I do believe that it, it is definitely a more the merrier type situation where um you have multiple idols that can attract multiple groups of people obviously um and it's 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 a it's a great thing to to see um different you know different essentially personalities and you know different uh your idols having different interests and hobbies and you following them along in this journey of yeah. of their k-pop uh, career and so it's it's good to see that but i you know i prefer smaller groups um just no sh no no surprise obviously um but honestly um I often have tough times. I'm gonna have. It's gonna take me a very long time to re recall, remember any of their names. I mean, for this, unfortunately, for this, they're only gonna be together as a group once a year. I once believe. a year. They said this a while back, so I don't know if they're still doing it. But that was like once a year. But in the time between that is when they'll vote for subunits. So like oh. on the where you buy the NFT things. Yes. That's where you can not only can you like vote for like songs and stuff, but they also vote for like subunits, and then they'll also vote for like the name of the subunits and like all that stuff. So like everything from them is, I think, voted on. I think everything for the most part. That is a but, very unique way to attack to yeah. tackle that kind of situation. Okay. So normally you won't have to remember all their names mm. at once because. Okay. I mean, there's a video where they're at the music show and they're trying to say all of their names. Oh, really? And they failed miserably. Oof. It was kind of amazing, but um, I don't blame them. So yeah, that that is a great way to to go about that. Because I and I wonder if those subunits stay together or the members no. are interchangeable. No. So the way it's okay. So all this stuff I'm telling y'all is my previous knowledge because okay. I kind of stopped keeping up with Triple S. Uh, I don't remember even when it was. I want to say sometime at the end of last year, maybe a little bit earlier than that, I kind of just stopped following him just because, just I don't know, I just stopped. Um, but the way it 
is working or worked was if they don't hit a certain amount of like numbers for that group, it just ceased to exist. So like Acid Angels in Asia, I don't think that they sold that mark. So that as a group won't exist anymore, but they can just reform under another mm -hmm. name. I don't know. That's how I understood it, at least. Whoa. So. That really uh, lays on the pressure then. I mean, not really, because they're in the group. I, so it's still, like. still, though. Wow. I mean, I guess so it does. But I mean, I don't know. I, I don't see how any other way to do it when you have mm. that many members. Yeah. I mean, I would be kind of curious to see what the uh, line distribution was for that song. There it's, was one member I did not see at all that I can remember. I'm, I'll watch her music video again, but it's Nian. I was trying to remember her name for I the longest... I know long, who that is. I was trying to remember... <laughs> oh, yeah. I was trying to remember her name for the longest time when I was watching this, but I don't... I feel like I did not see her at all in this video, but there's also new members in this group that I do not know at all. Okay. So... Well, yeah. um, th still very fascinating. Um, th I, we can probably go on and on about... Yeah. Um, how unique and interesting this is, but let's get down to the the the, the, the brass tacks. What was uh, your your rating on this? I want to give it a five, but something is telling me not to. So usually when that happens, I'll go with the four. Okay. Yeah, I can see this going to a five, one hundred percent. But I don't know. There's some. There's nothing pulling at the five for me. But I think half of that was me just trying to remember names. Like that's fair. The whole time we were listening to this song. That's I don't fair. Know. Um, I will also probably go along way with you with you four. I have literally zero complaints about no, the song. Yeah. Zero complaints. I don't think there was, well, I maybe mean, one complaint. Um, and it's just the dance break part. Um, I like when I, there is something like a dance break in a song, it's kind of hard to like, you know, because they're usually, it's hard to, hard to explain, but like dance breaks and songs are like, there's not enough meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes is the idol or the idol's dancings. But yeah. when you're listening to the song itself, the music is just kind of like laying low to give audience to uh, the actual dance yeah, itself. Great, yeah. um, so as a, uh, you know, audio listener, it's not like the the best in those kind Takes of things. Takes like out of the moment. Exactly, almost. yeah. yeah. Um, that. So that would be my, my real only complaint. Um, and I mean, I, I guess listening to um, that particular segment um, in you know in person or by myself rather um, would probably maybe I can hear different audio you know cues you in that yeah exact yeah. part. So, um, but I other than that, which is a very minor grievance, um, I thought the song was amazing. There's a bunch of la la las. I'm all about that. I thought the rap break was from, it was a nice vibe. like the the song itself is just a vibe. Yeah, like it, I would liken it to. Uh, Artemis is kind of crush in that same sense where I can just kick back and listen, listen and it. enjoy the song. Yeah. Um, it wasn't very loud. It wasn't. It wasn't too slow. I think it was just right in that realm of perfection where I can just, you know, relax. And relax too, yeah. You know. So, um, great. Yeah. Um, um, so yes, this is going to be our our next um, group that we're going to be doing our catch up reactions to. And I actually the only Triple S song I know is Generation. Gen that's what it was called. Yeah. Okay, so Generation. I like how I couldn't think mm. of Generation, but I could remember Acid, Acid Angels and Asia. Yeah, uh, Generation is the only song yeah. I've known, and coincidentally, they also have a lot of la la las in that in that song. And so. in Rising. And in also. Rising. Well, I haven't listened to Rising, yeah. so. Um, but that was great. Um, I, this is also going to be great, also because now we have the the full uh, song of what uh, I believe at least the overall group is aiming for like mm -hmm. the type of song they're going for so it's gonna be interesting to see all of their previous works to yeah. see how kind of like how they grow up into this song mm -hmm. so um it's that's also gonna be exciting it's also different from when we did luna yes With luna we started reacting to the members before the full group mm -hmm. was out and now we're getting triple s but we're starting backwards almost backwards we're starting almost, yeah. fully out and then as they slowly add members building up to what we saw here mm -hmm. today. Um, but that is going to be it for this video, guys. Like always, see you later.